Yeah, so I I made a video last night. Actually, I made two of them last night because I went on my Twitter feed and someone had wrote some really nasty things about Melania Trump. Now, everyone knows by now there were some photos going around of a young Melania Trump way back in the day. Okay? And if you don't know about it, then you don't need to know about it. But there are people who know about that. So if you call yourself a believer and you call yourself a Christian and then you turn around and you call her misogynistic words, if you call yourself a feminist and you turn around and call her misogynistic words based on her past indiscretions, you are a sorry human being. Especially if you're a female and you got a bunch of children that have different fathers. Or as Mr.'s dad used to said, all Shadavis children got different daddies. Or if you had children born out of wedlock, you got the nerve to say something about what happened in the past of what 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 she did in the past. How dare you? Take the doggone forest out your eyes and then you can see a speck in somebody else's eyes. But until you take the forest out your eyes, don't say nothing about the speck in your brother or sister's eyes. It don't matter what somebody did in their past. It doesn't matter. But if you're bringing up somebody's past and you had a bunch of children outside of wedlock and all your children have different fathers, different sperm donors, you don't have a thing to say about what Melania did way back in her youth. Because the child that she has that I know of was born in wedlock with her husband. So it don't matter what she did in the past if she's repented and it doesn't matter what you did in the past if you repented but if you're looking at somebody else's past and your past is just as bad or worse then you nothing but a, a, a wicked person I'm sorry there's nothing else I can say about that you're wicked because we've all fallen short of what we supposed to understand is the glory of God now, if anyone has a right to say anything about anybody's past or present, it's me. I'm still single and celibate. Yes, I backslid in my mind. Yes, I've done things that have not been beneficial to my spirit because it makes it difficult now for my resolve to stay pure and holy in my body when I have allowed my mind to run around in the gutter. But that's okay. Because eventually my mind is going to catch back up to my body. And I'm going to be whole again. And in my weakness I don't turn around to people who had weaknesses in their past. Who's not walking in their weaknesses anymore. And judge them based on what they did in their past. Now, if you're a continual child, a child pedophile and you're a continual rapist, that's one thing. But if you did something in your past and your and your present is not what your past looked like, then I don't have no business saying nothing to you. And if you got a bunch of uh, 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 children out of wedlock by different fathers, you all your children are, are rainbow children because you got children from all kind of different men. And you weren't even married to them. You don't got a, a, a thing to say. About somebody else and what they did in their past. I don't care if she was a prostitute. And she slept with a thousand men. I don't care. It doesn't matter what she did in her past. You don't disrespect the first lady of the United States. It's just that simple. Well, I didn't vote for Obama. I didn't vote for that devil. But while he was in office, I respected him. 
and that woman that he's married to. I never disrespected them. Ever. Because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to respect the authority that was put upon you. Whether you like it or not, the president is kind of an authority figure. So if you got a problem with Melania Trump's past, and yet you got evidence of your past, then you don't really have anything that you need to say because your past is always in front of your face. Four or five kids by different sperm donors that you weren't married to.